Hello, my crafty friends. This is Michelle, the Southern Shell, and I am here today to share with you some of these cards that I made for card ministry to go to the hospital this Valentine's Day. I usually have them go to like the children's hospital. Uh, if there's extras, I'm going to have them share them with other areas. You just don't know how many people are going to be in the hospital on Valentine's Day. It's just, you know, you don't know. So I am going to be showing you how I put these together so that it's an, like an assembly line process. I used scrap paper, I used my Cricut with a print and cut, and I used Graphic Fairy graphics in order to get these wonderful vintage children for this project. So if you wanna know how I do this, and the process I go through, stay tuned, we're getting started. So the first thing I did was I actually went to graphicsfairy.com and let me get back to their home page here. Um, it says start here. And I am already a member of the graphicsfairy.com and I believe, I mean, it's under $10 a month and you have unlimited, unlimited access to their printables and their bundles and tutorials. I mean, there's just so much there. So I went to printables is the first thing I did. And I went ahead and came on down and I found the holiday um, for Valentine's Day just type it in and then I'm going to search and so all of the Valentine's items come up and so what I did like here is childhood Valentine's and you can click on that and you get the whole bundle and so I'm just going to come on down here, look at how cute those images are, and I'm going to go ahead and download the images. And it's super simple. Click on it, download it. You have a zip file. And this is one I don't have already. And then you can come on down and you can actually download all the printables which this happens to be postcards and stamps and little little cards like little valentine cards like background paper all of that and then you have the brush set which is a lighter toned um, pictures of what you've already had so it's great for like backgrounds now usually they have the SVG set but they don't have it on this one but that's okay so once I have them downloaded I will go to my Cricut and I'm gonna go to upload and I'm gonna go ahead first I need to go to my files sorry about that so I'm gonna go to files first and I'm gonna go to my drive and I'm gonna go to my downloads and so here is all the downloads I've just done and I'm going to go ahead and click on one of those. And now it's opened that folder. Super simple, super easy. And so now it's uploading onto my tablet and now I can open it. And it's going to open all of those, all of those PDFs for me. And this, look at that. And then you can go, and do the different ones. Here's like all your background papers and stuff like that. I want something, um, I want some of the pieces to actually upload and uh, cut, print and cut for my own. So I can actually click on this one and open it. And it just has all of these beautiful little pieces of Valentine. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my Cricut now. And I'm gonna go ahead and just hide these pieces so I can show you how to do these. And I'm going to group them and then I'm going 
to hide them. And then that way, our screen is clear. I'm going to go down here to Upload. I'm going to click on and I'm going to go Browse Files. And I'm going to go back to my Upload or my Downloads. And this is the last one that I did. And here's the pieces that I actually did. So I'm going to click on this one and see if I can pull them all in. Look at that. And it can automatically reboot, remove the background. But let's see right here, if I did this, it's not going to print the individual pieces. It's going to just have a great big block. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go here to automatic and I'm going to remove the background on that and see how well it actually took the background out and left the images. So in order to do that, I'm going to apply it. And when I see that, it looks like it did well. It looks like the only pieces in there are the ones that um, maybe need to be cut out where the arms are. And so that's pretty cool. Not too shabby. But I don't want the childhood valentines and those names to print out or the numbers. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open that up, just stretch it out a little bit, and I'm going to click on my erase button. And I'm going to make it much smaller. And now when I blow this up, I can now take my finger and erase all of this. I can use my pencil. And I can erase that. I can make that a little bigger so I have a bigger space that I'm using to erase and just going on in there and cleaning that up. Now you don't have to have a Cricut. You can just print this out and then um, fussy cut each of these images and you can do that. You don't have to do it with a Cricut. It just makes it easier for me because once I have this uploaded, I don't have to do it again. So for me, it makes sense to go ahead and take a little bit more time and, and use this. Look at that, I just erased her. Um, so be careful where you're touching because it will because it will erase that area. So I want to take off these little numbers here. And then you can actually click on it and name it and then upload it. Now, I already have several uploaded. So what I'm going to do is I actually have them hidden and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to unhide that group. That's me and so when I come over here, I have all these pieces here that I've actually already uploaded. Look at how cute they are. And I've sized to fit a card. Now, when I size to do a card, what I usually do is I bring in a shape. So let's bring in a shape, and then I'm gonna make that shape the size of a card. And so that's usually five and a half by four and a quarter. That is your basic card shape, card size. And you know, it's usually white. So I'm gonna come on in there and make it white. What you up to, little man? And then I can see just how that cut piece is going to look on the front of that. Let's go ahead and get that layered back. So I'm gonna go to edit, arrange, send to back. Now I can pull any of these little pieces on top of it 
and see how big it's going to be against that card base. And so it's some of these are just super cute, but I'm going to want to put some other things behind it. So what I did is I took these little pieces and I went back to edit and I clicked on this little button that says offset. And I wanted it to be just a small piece offset. So I moved it to 0.15 inches and then click done. And if you see here, it created a background behind the picture that is going to be 0.15 inches bigger all the way around that image. And so what that's going to do for us is I have some already cut out. Look at here. Let's see. Like this is going to sit right on top of here. Yeah, I see that. And that is going to be that little piece with a cutout with a frame around it. So I made that for each one of these. So we have each of the little pieces here have not only their front colored pieces, but they also have the background. I think that's this one. Yes. No, maybe. Let's turn it over. It might be the wrong side. There we go. So it's also going to have... Gigi, look at this. That is my barrette. It is also going to have the little background frame. So when I put it on that card front, not only is it going to give it a little more dimension, but it's also going to give it a little pop. So I love that. So that is how I do the print and cut to get these done. So once you get all of your items printed and cut out, now once again you can print them and then hand fussy cut them. And then if you do want the offset, you can glue these down onto a regular sheet of card and then do an offset cut around them. I just used my Cricut and I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this last puppy right onto my offset black card. So the card I printed on is like 65, I think it's 65 weight. And then I used a heavier weight, I believe that one is 80 for the um, offset in the back. And so I do have all of those cut and printed. Look how stinking cute these turned out. I think they're adorable. Look at this one, I think this one's like my favorite but they all turned out so well. And what I also did is I went in and just used on my regular Cricut, I didn't download any other items for this part, is I went and I found just some little statements. This one just says, Hello Valentine. I did the same thing where I print and cut, and then I did an offset. I have another Hello Valentine here and I have another one here that just says Happy Valentine's Day. So I wanted to make sure I had something for a little statement. What I did after that is I just printed some little extras if I wanted to build up the car with anything. I went ahead and just cut out several hearts. What I did then is I made my card bases. Now your card base is going to be an eight and a half by 11 cardstock. You're going to cut that in half, whether you're going to cut it in half lengthwise, or you're gonna cut it in half the shorter side. So you can cut it in half on the 11 inch side, or you can cut it in half on the eight and a half inch side. And then you're gonna score it right down the middle. So what I do to make it a little easier is I just score it first. I come in and I score the long page and then I cut it where I need it to be. Once they're cut and scored, I'm gonna come back in. My poor scoreboard has been well loved. 
I'm going to come back in and I'm going to fold it right on that score mark, give it just a little pinch and just help it along there. And I'm going to hold it flat up against my board and usually up in the corner. And I'm going to take a bone folder and I am just going to press that seam down. And then we have a card base. This can open this way or it can open this way. So I have several card bases ready and uh, made and ready to go. And I think it's time to start building. So before I cut up any more paper, I have a photo box to keep like your photos in. And that's where I keep my scraps that I've cut down. And they're all either like four by five, four by six, and they go on down to two by twos. And so I'm gonna pull these out first and that's what I'm going to start with on our cards so that I can use up some of my scrap before we move on. So let's get some of our colors. We're going to go ahead and keep these in their own little stacks. So I have my little mini cutter. This was by Creative Memories. Um, I don't believe they're in business anymore. I just hold on to stuff as long as I possibly can, and it still works wonderful. So let's go ahead. I'm going to have this here so I can get to it. And we're going to take our first card, and we're going to decide. We have our first set are going to be these. We have these little lamps. And I can either do the little lamb this way. I don't think it'll do well. Well, it could go that way as well. Why don't we get a couple cards out? And, and we'll do three different ways. So in my stack, let's see what we have first. So we have some red. Now I have my art glitter glue. Okay, now art glitter glue dries very fast and dries clear. There are several different brands out there now that um, do very well with paper, paper crafting. And I do love my tape runner, especially if I'm making several, several large um, batches of cards. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and just use my glue. And now I have my little circle, but I also have my little hearts. I don't want to get too elaborate because some of these might be going to children and so I have to be careful what I put on here it means no glitter and probably no gems so I might just dig out some ribbon and lace and see what we can do but there's the first one and now I can open it I can put whatever in there I can put a stamp in there um, but that's the first one done and you can go on through and do several of these and be ready to roll. So I'm going to get a few more of these done and then I'll show you the outcome 
I have gotten all of the base cards done. And now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna add some embellishments. This one, I just added some flowers on the end of it. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it. I think I may just leave those like that. But what I would like to do now is go through the ones that I have matted. These I went ahead and added the hearts onto. And I think they turned out adorable, but I'd like something more to pop on these a little bit. So I went ahead and I got out my um, flat back pearls, my flat back gems. I got out some buttons. Um, I got out some paper flowers. And I think that I actually may have some hearts. Oop, I do. I do have my hot glue gun actually on so that I could come in and maybe get some of these um, gem stickers and add them onto here, but hot glue them down so they have a little bit more uh, grabbing power. Now, some of them I'm going to just, just use some paper embellishment so that they can go to some of the younger children and not have to worry about them picking off any gems and choking on them. Um, and I think what I'll do is I am going to film me doing this. I'm going to speed it up so you can see me doing this since we already went over, you know, the matting, the print, the cut. What I think would be good is to come on in and like add some little embellishments onto some of these cards. So I pull up the same cards that I already have done and ready to go. And then I'm gonna find the embellishments I want to go with it. And I knew that I wanted the heart gemstones on these. I think I will leave this one alone because I don't want to add anything that might um, hinder a child. So I'm gonna leave that one be, and we're gonna move that one up and out of the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and add something onto these. Now I could very easily just pull in some more of those paper hearts and then that way I know that um, it would be safe for these to actually go to a child as well.
Okay, my lovelies, this is what I have. And I am going to, um, on the inside, I'm going to put a little scripture from um, 1 Corinthians 13, 13. But now, faith, hope, love, abide these three. But the greatest of these is love. So that's what I'm going to put on the inside of these cards. But I wanted to go ahead and show what we have. And here... Have all kinds of fun 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 and so this is they turned out very cute I'm very pleased with how they look and I just wanted to go ahead and give you a quick little shot of what they look like and just know that they're about ready to be packaged up and heading off to the hospital so I'm very um, grateful I'm able to do this. So I think I, I can't even tell you, you know, which one I really like the best because they all just they're all different in their own in their own way and they're just so cute. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I know I went fast through the um, decorating after I added the mats and the, um, the main picture on the front, and that was pretty simple to do. I showed you how to do it on, on one, maybe two, but I wanted to let you know just how simple these were to do, and especially if you do them in bulk, you know, it's it's such a blessing for somebody else if they are in the hospital and they're not able to share, you know, Valentine's Day with anybody. Um, how fun is it to be able to just get a card from no one? And I, I don't put my name on them. I just give them to the hospital and let them share it. So this is a card ministry that somebody can get something which I think they turned out really cute. So thank you so much for joining me today and I hope that you are having a wonderful week and the week's almost over. I can't believe it. It's Thursday already and we're about done here. Guys, if you've not subscribed to my channel, I will hope you would consider doing so now by hitting that subscribe button. If you want to know when I'm uploading a new video, you can hit that bell notification and YouTube should notify you when I'm uploading a new video. As always, guys, stay safe, God bless, and bye for now.